everyone, it's Asia Dang, and thank you for joining me on my channel. Let's talk about our skin. Ooh. A major concern for each and every one of us, mostly because our skin, always changing. What used to work for me in my skin in my early 20s doesn't really work for me in my skin in my late 20s. So you always have to be aware of what's working and what's not working and kind of adjust your beauty routine for that moment. However, there are five things that I think you can do at any age to help your skin stay youthful and fabulous. Tip number one, wash your face every night no matter what. I know for a lot of people you may work late or you're just too exhausted when you get home. The last thing you want to do before you go to sleep is wash your face and I totally understand that. But let me emphasize this to you. You have to wash your face every night. It is crucial. Going to sleep with your face dirty will increase acne, inflammation, and oils in your skin. So obviously what you're gonna do is wipe your makeup off using whatever technique you use. So lately I've been using this two-step program from Clarity MD. It's a face wash and face serum. This cleanser is gentle enough to use every day so you don't have to worry about your skin drying out. And personally, what I like is that it's cruelty free and not tested on animals because now that I am a dog owner, that stuff I'm really sensitive to. With my deep cleanser, I'm gonna use the cognac sponge. If you don't know what a cognac sponge is, it's basically an exfoliating tool. It's hard like a rock when dry, but when you wet it, it softens and that's when you're gonna use it. It's perfect for anyone with acne and clogged pores because the fibers help unclog those plugged pores in a way that hands and facial cleansers don't do. And then after I'm done washing my face, I'm using the clarifying serum. This is the only thing I've been using for my pimples for the past year. So what I do is I just put the serum on the affected area. Your pimples and your skin might dry out, so it's important to just start off with using something like this once a day, and then if you need to, twice a day. After the serum, throw on your moisturizer or whatever else you use for your nighttime routine, and you're ready for bed with a clean, beautiful face. Tip number two, I always mention this, please wear SPF of at least 15. Apply your SPF 30 minutes before you walk out the door. That way you give your skin enough time to absorb everything it needs to absorb to help protect your skin. Tip number three, apply things like moisturizer to your skin when it's wet. Damp skin absorbs things like a sponge, so it's important to put your moisturizers or your lotions on immediately after you wash your face or get out of the shower. Tip number four, eat for your skin. The saying you are what you eat is very true, especially when it comes to skin care, and I can attest to this, is lately I haven't been eating the best and I've been noticing it on my skin. If you just Google foods for healthy skin, there's going to be a ton of lists for you to look through about foods that are great for your skin, but here are a couple of my favorites. Avocados are a great source of vitamin E, which helps the skin repair itself and stay soft. Tomatoes have a powerful antioxidant that are essential for the immune system and helps protect against skin cancer and skin damage. Olive oil packed with omega-3 fatty acids, which are good fats by the way, and three major antioxidants that help restore the skin smoothness and prevents free radical damage to the skin. Here's an easy way to combine all those three into one snack. Just cut up the tomatoes and avocados, put them into a bowl, and mix it with balsamic vinegar and olive oil. You can add salt and pepper if you want, and then that's it, you're done. You can add it to a cracker or just eat it straight from the bowl. And something you can drink with that snack is green tea, which contains two different types of antioxidants that protect you from skin cancer and helps with elasticity. An easy snack that's also healthy for your skin. For my final tip, get eight hours of sleep. I know this is hard because we're all really busy and some of you are students and I know you guys pull all-nighters, but this is crucial. And honestly, it's something that I struggle with myself. When we're sleeping, our skin works to repair the damage that it got throughout the day. So let's help our skin out just a little bit and clock in eight hours of sleep. Now don't get it twisted, people. Laying in bed, scrolling through your Instagram for an hour doesn't count. Lights out and close your eyes to clock in eight hours of sleep. You'll feel the difference and you'll see the difference. Trust me on this. So that's it. Those are my five simple steps for healthy skin. 
Remember, skincare is a process, so don't get frustrated if you don't see results right away. Gotta be patient. I do have an extra box of Clarity MD to give away to one of you. This is exactly what I use for my night routine. It comes with the deep pore cleanser, the Clarity Serum, and of course the Cognac Sponge. So if you're interested in getting this box, all I want you to do is comment below what your favorite tip from this video was, and I will pick a winner next week. All the information, including links to the products I used in the video, information about the giveaway, and recipes using my favorite foods for your face are all gonna be in the description box. Please like and share this video. Click here to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And I will see you all next week. Bye, thanks for watching.